Representative is offering an outlet so students and teachers can share concerns without fear of retribution. Our Tracy Ann McPeer has more. In less than 72 hours, State Representative Beth Moore says she's received more than 200 whistleblower emails from teachers and students across the state. With complaints and concerns ranging from large class sizes without social distancing to not wearing masks to a lack of cleaning supplies, she kept names anonymous but shared some of their claims, like this one from a teacher in Fulton County. I have a coworker who has decided to report to the building today, even though she had a positive COVID test last week. Couldn't sleep last night because I feel as if I may be exposed today. We require employees to report both symptoms consistent with COVID-19 or diagnosis of a positive case. Any employee who fails to do so is subject to discipline, up to and including termination. The concerned coworker should direct their concern to HR, the FCS tip line, fraud waste abuse line, which can be made anonymously, or the zone superintendent for their school. In other words, there are numerous ways to alert the district and to have the matter assessed. Moore says she also received emails from students in Cherokee County, claiming they were bullied over wanting to wear masks. Now we talked to the school district and they say they have no reports of bullying over masks. And they also say they already have a safe schools reporting system where students can report issues like bullying and stay anonymous.